And also today, a pioneering day for American business. For the first time, one of the top automakers in America put a woman in the driver's seat of the company as CEO. ABC's chief business reporter Rebecca Jarvis tells us about cars and what is changing in America. In Mad Men, the old boys club of advertising courted the old boys club of the auto industry. Chevy likes Bob, and if you don't like Bob, we can find someone who does. But today, a new era was born. I'd like to introduce your new CEO effective next month on the 15th, Mary. Mary Barra is the first woman ever to run one of Detroit's big three. She started at GM in 1980, inspecting Pontiac Grand Prix coming off the assembly line. She was 18, studying engineering. Her father, a 39-year GM veteran, was making car fenders and hoods. You stood outside the dealerships looking to see the new vehicles. That was kind of how I was raised. Now she's become a force at GM, overseeing global product innovation with a focus on fuel efficiency, hybrids, and electric cars. Barra will be one of just 21 women running Fortune 500 companies, joining Hewlett Packard's Meg Whitman, PepsiCo's Indra Nooyi, and Yahoo's Marissa Meyer. Firms with more women at the top earn 50% higher profits than those without, and a woman at GM could have other benefits. After all, it is women who make 80% of the car purchase decisions. Barra's original dream car, this red vintage Chevy Camaro. Her first car, she wanted a 1970s Pontiac Firebird, but settled for a more practical Chevy Chevette. Today, she drives a Cadillac CTS and on the weekends, a Corvette. I don't want to say I'm a, a super fast driver, but I, I like cars that go fast. Now, after her slow and steady climb, it's full speed ahead. Rebecca Jarvis, ABC News, New York.